so hi everyone i hope i'm audible so today i will be starting a new course on youtube which is on uh, backend basic to advanced so these are few topics that uh, i will be covering so so both the theoretical and the practical part so first we'll start off with the basics of how operating system and program works so we'll start with the structure of process life cycle then we'll move on to process compilation how a process is compiled and what are the stages of compilation uh, and then uh, we'll study about virtual address space and physical address space and how each process is assigned a unique address space with respect to each other and how operating system or processors addresses them then multiprocessing multitasking and multithreading these uh, these three topics are usually used interchangeably by most people so these are three are very <coughs> interlinked topics then we'll study about thread and process locks semaphore so thread and process are the two ways using which you can schedule a task and run it and lock semaphore and mutex are essentially used when we want, when we <coughs> when two process try to communicate or two process tries to work on a similar or same memory space in order to avoid race condition uh, then we have basics of single threaded and multi threaded programming language so essentially there are two types of programming language single threaded and multi threaded single threaded programming language are javascript and python and which uses event loop to perform operation and the second is a multi threaded programming language uh, which uh, are c++ and java so we'll study about the background and working of these these two kinds of programming language then we have behind the scenes of these languages how these uh, languages compile and access threads uh, then we'll study about what is the cpu bound and i bound process and process so cpu and i bound are essentially an operating system concept so every process can be classified into two types cpu bound i bound or both so cpu bound we'll get into the details of this when we study these topics and uh, then synchronous and asynchronous programming uh then we'll study about event loop and how event loops works in a single threaded application what is the significance of physical or core and virtual core and how hyper threading works in processors uh, then we'll study about uh, single threaded and multi threaded programming languages uh, api uh, application programming interface how two process communicate with each other then we'll study about the basics of networking ip addressing and routing how are ip address uh, ip addresses work and uh, how a package uh, travels through one part of system to another and what are the layers involved in each networking stack then we will study about uh, some uh, protocols which are tcp udp http then we'll also study about layers in computer network and their working cdn web sockets and web rtc uh, so web sockets and web rtc are the two protocols using which we can communicate Uh, and then we'll study about security in networking, LAN, WAN, cloud, firewall, SSH, NAT, uh, bandwidth and latency, uh, and what are the basic types of servers, uh, and how DBMS works, and what are the data, uh, and what is, are the tools involved, and uh, what is Postgres SQL, and how we can write queries, and what are what is one NF, two NF, three NF, and BCNF. So these are the normalization forms which we use in order to remove redundancy in our databases. Then we'll study about the SQL basics. to intermediate the internal working of sequels we'll also deep dive into design patterns uh, how design patterns works and which design pattern is useful for your application development so this is more sort of a, a practical subject we cannot understand design patterns by just uh, learning the theory so i will also be doing practical of all these concepts and then we'll study about gpu parallel computing how gpu works internally and how we can write a program to work on gpu and what kinds of program are easily parallelizable and what kind of program can take the benefits of gpu and what programs can run better on cpu will also be will also be learning about that we will also learn the about the basics of ml cuda and how to scale ml application and what is vllm server so vllm server is essentially server that allows us to expose an api and run our large language model Uh, then what are the security in machine learning applications etc then we'll also deep dive into the foundation of security the components of security crypto network basics privacy anonymity web basics and vulnerability i will also be doing the deep practical introduction and explanation of all these 
so please let me know which language do you prefer do you prefer english or hindi make sure you write your preferred language which you want to learn these topics in in comment section and then we have advanced computer networks and we will learn about the various layers of various protocols and application layer protocols such as http1 http1.1 http2 http3 and quick and how are this protocol and when to choose which protocol and what are the pros and cons of each of these protocols then we will learn about video streaming and types of abr algorithm how video streaming works and how abr algorithm and what are abr algorithm what is dash algorithm what does it mean by tcp congestion control what is multipart tcp so multipart tcp and congestion control is essentially a way using which we can use two separate protocol tcp protocol and we can combine the pros and cons of both in order to transfer a packet from one destination to another then we'll learn about border gateway protocol geolocation using round trip time internet map through bgp calculation of as path to read destination so these are usually advanced computer networks topics that i will be covering